the same layout that generated me over $3 million this year alone in 2023, this calendar year. Okay, I'm going to show you how to build a successful drop shipping business and store with $0, you know, not spending any money on ads. So if you're a beginner or if you're someone that has been trying drop shipping and you've run out of money, this course is literally going to show you how to do it without spending any money on paid advertising. Okay, stop paying for ads. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, this video is literally going to have information like the courses people charge hundreds and thousands of dollars for, okay? I'm going to lay everything down for you in this video right here, this free course, and show you exactly how to drop ship. All I ask is that you literally just hit that subscribe button and like this video, okay? That's literally all I ask so I can keep making these videos for you and to help your drop shipping journey and hopefully, you know, help you make some bands, okay? So yeah, no, the first thing I'm gonna say is I'm going to show you how to advertise without paid ads in this video, okay? So definitely stay tuned for that because it's not, you know, posting videos on TikTok all day hoping to go viral. It's not that strategy, okay? So the strategy I'm going to show you where you don't have to, you know, spend thousands of dollars on Facebook ads and TikTok ads, yeah, you stick around for that, okay? So first thing first is, why should you start drop shipping? Okay, now drop shipping is literally the only business you can start with zero dollars or less than fifty dollars. Okay, because there might be an app you need to pay for, you might need to buy a domain for like ten dollars, something right? But I'll tell you right now, you can definitely do everything I'm going to show you in this video with zero dollars. But if you want to, you know, just you know, spice it up a little bit, you might need to spend ten bucks. 20 bucks or maybe you know 30 bucks but what i'm saying is you can definitely start drop shipping with zero dollars or less than fifty dollars and you should definitely start drop shipping because you can work from anywhere in the world literally okay just like i can be in bali right now with all the other digital nomads you know what i'm saying that's a popular place for digital nomads for some reason i don't know why but i could be there i can be in dubai i can be in london you know what i mean i can i, I can go to, to uh, back to my ends yeah if i want to right now i can be anywhere in the world and literally do the businesses that i do i can do my dropshipping business from anywhere in the world and of course <laughs> you want to start dropshipping because it literally can give you financial freedom. If any of you know my story, if you're new here or anything, I mean, I was literally poor. I didn't even have a cell phone back in two, the early 2018. Early 2018, that's just a few years ago. And between from 2018, it only took me literally one year to make like have six figures in my bank account. And that, yes, six figures is not like, oh my God, I'm financially free forever. But it, that, that only happened in a year where I was able to have six figures in my bank, over $200,000 in my bank in just one year. And at that time I was only 25 years old. Okay, so let that sink in. And that was just within one year. And then that whole 2019, I did millions of dollars in revenue and that only brought my net worth up even more. So yes, drop shipping can literally give you financial freedom with when you start with zero dollars, okay? Because when I started to back in 2018, late 2017, I didn't like I said, I was broke. I didn't even have a cell phone. So I had to get creative and advertise my product without spending any money on ads. So if anyone knows how to do that, it's me. Okay? So what you will learn today is you will learn how, you know, I one my popular ways of how I find winning products, okay? I'll show you two ways, my most popular ways that I used to find winning products till this day, okay? And I'll show you how to set up your Shopify store and website. I'll show you exactly how to advertise your products without spending any money on ads. That this is like this part is probably, you know, the the best because I mean it's, it's what's going to get people in your store, right? And then they're going to, you know, hopefully, yeah, buy from your website. So everything here is important because when you get them to your store, you want to make sure your website is obviously good enough to where they can obviously buy from your store, okay? So with that being said, after that, I'll show you how to ship out your orders automatically and 
effortlessly okay and then that's what you'll be learning today in this free drop shipping course my baby okay so let me just explain drop shipping to you if you don't know what drop shipping is and if you're you know coming across this business model for the first time so pretty much what happens is a customer, a random person named, you know what I'm saying, Joe Blow, Joe Blow places an order on your website, the drop shipping store that you're gonna be building hopefully after this video. Okay, what happens is when they purchase from your website, okay, then you the, the purchase, the product that they purchase will be purchased from the supplier. So AliExpress, you know, what? I'll show you how to fulfill orders later. So the customer goes on your website and then when they buy something from you, you literally buy it from the supplier and the supplier ships it directly to the customer and then the customer receives the product and then you literally keep the profit right here. As you can see, it says keeps 20, dollar profit so let's say your product on your website cost i don't know um forty dollars and after advertising cost and buying it from the supplier you're you know left with twenty dollars you just literally go to the supplier tell them that hey this person placed an order and then they'll go ahead and ship it directly to the customer it's literally that simple you are the middleman you don't own any inventory or anything you never have to keep inventory in a warehouse that is the beautiful part of it and that's one of the reasons why it is the you know cheapest business to start without spending much capital or without literally spending any money at all i mean it's just amazing anyone can do this too that's why it's just that's why it's insane because anyone can do it okay now when it comes to finding winning products you need to understand what makes a product a winner okay now like i said i'm going to show you you know my you know ways that i used to find winning products but let me just go ahead and show you right now um when it comes to finding a winner you need to understand that it must either have that wow factor and problem solver or it must have a wow factor and a passionate audience so first let's go over you know a product that is a what that has that wow factor and also solves a problem so as you can see this website right here they're selling this you know heating pad this is a painful menstrual period heating pad if you haven't seen this product then you probably live under a rock patrick star you know what i'm saying like get, get out get out that rock go explore bikini bottom okay stop being such a patrick star and get yeah anyway i don't know where i was i don't know what i was going on about right there but what i'm saying is stop living under a rock and yeah look at products on everywhere but this product right here, as you can see, this lovely lady, she's probably bleed. She, yeah, she was probably bleeding, in yeah, in this picture because it's called a period, painkill. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Say goodbye to painkillers is what I'm saying. This right here literally helps with a woman's period. So when a woman has a period, they usually have cramps and all these pains. And literally, this this is just a sexual photo. Who took this photo? Why why is she looking up at me like this is yeah cornhub.com? And she's about to, and, and you just about yeah. Anyway, I got a girlfriend, so I should start making these jokes because she watches these videos. <laughs> anyway, what I'm saying is she's on her period, and this pad right here, this heating pad, everyone knows in science, it's proven that you know heat helps with cramps and pains, you know, when you're going through your menstrual cycle. So this product right here blew up all over social media over the years. And the reason is because one, it has that wow factor. I mean, if you see an ad like these, you, I don't, you, you gotta be thinking about something with the way she's looking up at you like that. Yeah, you're gonna be thinking about something. So that's gonna make you stop scrolling, which is what a wow factor is. And then it solves the problem of having to have your cramps when you are going through your menstrual cycle, okay? So that's an example of a, pro a product that solves a problem and has that wow factor. And then a product that has that wow factor and a passionate audience will be this product right here. This is simply just a pickleball pad, okay? With a pickleball pad, it means people that are interested in pickleball, if you don't know, let's do a simple research right here on Google Trends, and you'll see this right here. Playing pickleball has become one of the, you know, has become one of the new fads amongst just about, you know, everyone. Everyone wants to know how to play pickleball right now, this day and age. I mean, I play pickleball as well. So if we type it in right here on Google Trends, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see that in recent, in the past year or so, 
it has really spiked up okay so let's do the past 12 months and then you can't really see it but it's spiked up so if we do let's do five years okay there we go so in the past five years as you can see in the past year it really peaked this summer july 2023 you can see that it really peaked up okay and now the new norm instead of being down here is up here so people are literally looking for pickleball equipment all day long so with that being said this is a product that people are passionate about maybe someone right now watching this video can go out there and make personalized pickleball pads actually <laughs> I shouldn't have said that in this video because I might actually, yeah, no. Oh my God. I Let me write that down in my notes actually because after this video, I think I'm going to make personalized pickle ball pads. No, seriously. I think that can be, that can be a, banger right there because no one no one makes it okay i i'm talking about like personalized where you can have your name on it whatever design you want a picture of yourself a, whatever it is i think that would be a hit huh interesting anyway back to the back, back to the video you better not steal my idea but yeah a pickleball pad personalized pickleball pad whatever that would be something you call a passionate product something people don't need it doesn't solve a problem but they're passionate about that thing around that product so people are passionate about pickleball so hopefully that makes sense so when you're doing your product research you can you know look for those things when you are you know doing your product research you can look for a product with a wow factor and solves a problem or a product with a wow factor and a passionate audience okay now this is how i find my winners the first is content contacting AliExpress suppliers like so. So what I do is I go on AliExpress, right? And then for example, I will just literally click any of the trending products that you see right here are selling. So let's just click this little foot thing right here. I don't know what the heck this is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what this is, but we're gonna click this. And then what you're simply gonna do is, you're just gonna go to where it says you know, first of all, this is a product with 2,000 reviews. So this is definitely a banger. And it says over 10,000 sold, so it's definitely a banger. So that's why it's important that you click, you know, one of the products that say best sellers in the home page, okay? So you're then gonna go ahead and click, you know, whichever product, as long as it's, you know, like I said, on the home page and it's a best seller, right? So when you do that, all you're simply gonna do is you're gonna click the name of the store right here, right? Just click it. And then it's going to take you right here you put your mouse right here and then you're going to click contact okay and then you're going to send this exact message right here i am a drop shipper and i have sold over one million in products and i am looking for a brand new winner to sell can you give me your top selling drop shipping make sure you write drop shipping top selling drop shipping because you don't want to you don't want to say top selling products because then they can just give you anything that people are ordering organically you want to make sure that they're giving you your their top drop shipping products okay so can you give me your top selling drop shipping products so I can sell them and make you a lot of money. Thank you. You're not going to do this with just one supplier. You're gonna come here and as you can see when we open that up, it brought up all these different products, right? All these best sellers. You're going to message as many suppliers as you can, okay? When it comes to drop shipping and you're a beginner or you're broke and you're trying to make some bread, you need to work hard, okay? So me personally, I would spend like maybe a week just doing this as a task. So that way, I've literally messaged hundreds of suppliers, right? Because if you only message 10, 20, the odds of one of them, you know, getting back to you and, you know, sending you a good list it's not it's not going to be high enough okay so you want to make sure that you're sending this to a lot of suppliers and like i said just make don't rush spend a week doing this and you're likely going to get at least 
at least 10 suppliers that send you drop shipping products that are actually working that's the easiest way to find that's one of the easiest ways to find winning products literally just ask the drop shipping suppliers what is working and they'll literally send you what other drop shipping products are working give it a try literally it's not that complicated but i guarantee you there's no other youtuber or no other person that does that because i had to get creative that's that's what i do I get creative when it comes to this shit, you know what I'm saying? So after you do that, then you just wait and then you hope for the best and you just keep messaging, keep messaging. And when you find a good supplier, save them so you can use them to find winning products in the future. Bingo. It's not that complicated. Now, one of the easiest ways that I also use is by using this app right here called AutoDS, okay? And I'll leave a link in the description and in the pinned comments of this video to get AutoDS completely free for 30 days. It's, it's literally completely free. So use that link in the description box down below. So what you're simply gonna do is right here where, literally right here where it says Marketplace. This is how you can find winning products. And you can find products that ship from United States and everything so you know that it is, you know, something that's gonna come fast. Without even, without even going deep into this, I already see a winning product right here. This product blows up every single year for the past couple of years. So I can guarantee you that this app definitely works because this little onesie hoodie thing everyone buys this thing every single year it's the perfect gift it's the perfect winter like just like most people buy winter jackets in the winter time when it's cold people buy this all the time okay so i didn't even have to go deep into it to buy that to, to find that and as you can see this as well this is a win product right here like you guys gotta start using these you know the, you start using things that I tell you to use and start doing what I tell you to use. And you can also click where it says winning products and also just browse, dude. Just browse. This right here, winning product as well. And, and it'll tell you which one is a winner. Like you don't have to go too far. Just test them. This right here is a quirky product, but it's a winner because it has that wow factor. And it's a stupid toy that kids will literally enjoy. You know what I'm saying? You can literally just do this scrolling thing. This could be the next fidget spinner. If you know anything about products or if, you are, if you've been alive for the past 10 years at least, then you know how popular fidget spinners were. Who is to say this right here can't be the next fidget spinner? Guys, stop overcomplicating things. It's right in front of you. So definitely get auto ds free for 30 days link in the description and pinned comment down below but as you can see this product right here is a stress reliever an anxiety reliever and that's what people used a uh, fidget spinner for back in the day and just in case you don't know what a fidget spinner is fidget spinner okay let me just show you exactly what it is this product right here this is what people this is what blew up back in like 2016 if if i knew drop shipping back then I would have made like $10 million that year. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, maybe this is the next fidget spinner. Maybe this right here, this little stress reliever thing is the next fidget spinner. I don't know, but I would definitely give it a try if I were you. I would definitely give it a try. Like, come on. And you can sell it for literally 17 bucks, up to 17 bucks, and your profit margin is so high because of the cost of the product. You can make $16 per sale, obviously without you know paid ad costs, but you know the beautiful thing about this course? I'm going to show you how to advertise for free. <laughs> so you can potentially make anywhere from 15 to 16 dollars, you know, after processing fees and stuff like that. So with that being said, yes, definitely give AutoDS a shot because you can also literally come here and check out TikTok spy and just spy on, you know, ads that are going viral on TikTok. And then usually you can do you can you can see which one is a, a, a winning product in a Shopify store by literally doing shop now for the call to action button. And literally you can go based off, you know, five hundred thousand impressions. So that way you're looking at products uh 
advertising that's actually you know working right and the beautiful thing about auto ds is you can even narrow down to organic because everyone nowadays is doing tiktok organic tiktok organic so if you can literally sort by organic then you can see the people out here that be you know what i'm saying look at this organic ad and you can see this is probably a winning product i didn't have to even scroll because this product right here looks similar to this product right here boom like you can literally find like a bunch of products just by simply, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, another one right here. Boom. So if I if I were to if I were to advertise something right now, in a goddamn who did I'm I'm kidding. I got a girlfriend. If you're watching this, baby, blanket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, but this product right here seems to be something that. People are at 389,000 likes, guys. Come on, that product is similar to this product up here and up here. So I've seen three of the same product in literally, in how many scrolls? Three scrolls, one, two, right here, if it loads, right there, and then three, literally right here. With that being said, I just gave you another winning product in this video. I gave you the pickleball idea. I gave you the anti-stress ball right here. And now we just found another product. We found two products on AutoDS literally just by scrolling for two seconds, literally. And if you want to see what the name of this product is, let's click shop now so you can see the name of the product and so you can literally copy it, right? Because I, I'm sure now you wanna, you wanna see it. Oh, let's not do that. I don't know what it's trying to do, but let's just say try the split end trimmer, okay? Split end trimmer. Literally, that's what it is. The split end trimmer, you can find it on AliExpress. Split end trimmer. You can literally find it on AliExpress, but you don't even need to use AliExpress because with AutoDS, you literally just find the product, go on AliExpress, Add the product to your store, and yeah, it's it's amazing. I'll, I'll talk more about AutoDS and how easy it is to fulfill orders and stuff later on. But um, with that being said, yeah, beautiful product found by literally just scrolling on AutoDS. So definitely check the um check out AutoDS free for thirty days. Link will be in the description and pinned comment. After you find your winning products, now the next steps are finding a name of your store and website, and then creating an email address for your store. Okay, so how are you gonna find a store name? Because I know some of you guys are like really bad at doing those things. So let me go ahead and show you right now, because. Trust me, I get so many emails where people are like, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? But it's so easy. You just go on Google and type in business name generator, right? Once you do that, you're simply gonna click where it says AI business name and generator. This is the one I'm gonna use, name links. And then let's just say, let's let's find something broad. I never like to give my um, store a name. So for example, if you're, if I'm gonna start selling controllers, you know, controllers as my first product, I'm not gonna name my store topcontroller.com. No, I'm gonna name it something like gogooasis.com, a random name, because if the controller doesn't work, I can just remove the controller from the website and I can literally just sell another product, a, a, a phone case. You know what I'm saying? Without having to change the name of the store and changing, you know, a bunch of things. I can literally use the same store name. Now, the beautiful thing about having a broad general domain and store name is that if gogooasis.com sells this phone case, excuse me, and this phone case goes viral and becomes the winning product, then I can still brand out gogooasis.com as a phone case brand as a phone accessory brand, okay? I can literally just say gogooasis.com, the home of the top phone accessories. Boom, that's how you can literally brand out a broad name. You don't need to have phone case in your store domain and name for you to be known as the phone case store. Does that make sense? Does Gerber, as you can see, if we go here and type in gerber.com, 
Gerber does not mean baby. Gerber, what the hell is a Gerber? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when you hear of Gerber, based on the logo, you can see that it's a baby store. They didn't have to name their store babybaby.com for you to get that it's a baby store. Does that make sense? So don't go start trying to find and think too much of a store name. Literally, just type in anything random. I like to use Oasis for my stores, okay? So we just do that, and then we just do brandable names because you, you obviously want to be able to um, brand it out later, like I said. And then just literally, we don't. We just need to generate. You don't need to click anything else because you're not going to buy your domain from here, right? Boom. Now, now Oasis. Right there. All right, and you can see the logos, the ideas that you can get from using this. Literally, you have all these names, all these names, isolife, nori.com, you know what I'm saying, vivo.com, like all of these names right here, Zigma, Zimag, like it doesn't mean anything, but let's say this Zimag becomes your store that sells, you know, all the phone cases, you can say Zimag, the top place for phone accessories, like all these names. You can pick anything and just go with it. So let's say we're gonna choose now, now, now Oasis. Okay, let's say we're gonna choose that. The next step will be to create the email address to use for your store and to create your Shopify account and everything, right? To build your store. So you're just gonna go on gmail.com and then do create an account. Just do for my personal use. You don't have to do for my business, okay? And then you just do now for the first name, Oasis. Okay. Why did I do that? Because it's called N-A, Oasis, okay? Oasis is a different word than nah, okay? You dig what I'm saying? You click next, and then for this, just do anything, okay? You can do your actual birthday, and then you can do whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then for gender, just do rather not say, you know what I'm saying? Just, just let it be like that. Let it be like that. And then you're gonna create your own email address and name it nah, Oasis, Oasis Shop. So I like to put shop, after my, you know, store name, just so people can, you know, see that it's the shop when they email. You want the email to match your store's name. You don't want the email to be Rockstar Baby 101. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be jacknutseveryday.com. Like, yeah, you, you, you want people to, when they go on your website, when they click contact us on your website, you want it to make sense so they take you seriously and think you're like a legit business because at the end of the day, drop shipping is a legit business. So you need to treat it as such, okay? So you're gonna click next and then for your password, you can just do whatever. You know, I'm not gonna, you want me to tell you what my password is? Oh shit, I don't even know if I literally used the same password twice. I did, okay? And then once you do that, you're just gonna enter your phone number. You wish you can see my number right now, right? So that way you can text me and do all sorts of, okay, so this number has been used too many times. I've created way too many Google accounts for you guys, okay? So with that being said, act like you put your number here, and then when you put your number here, you click next, they'll send you a code, if you don't have a number, create a number using like a free app, like text free. So you can use a free app like uh, text free and usually they should be able to get you your code. If not, just use your mom's phone number. Use your whoever friend, someone's phone number that's literally sitting next to you. If my girlfriend was here, I would have entered her number here and literally I would have been able to, yeah, do this part. But once you do this part, it's gonna you know, open up your um, Gmail account. And then after that, the next step will be to build your Shopify store, okay? Now, the thing about Shopify is usually it costs $39 per month, around there, something like that, right? Now, I wouldn't recommend getting the second or third plan unless you're like big, like, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're big Leon, <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Unless you're big Leon, you do not need all of this, okay? Now, the beautiful thing is you can build your Shopify store for just $1 per month, so it's not gonna be $39, okay? It'll be $1 if you go to the link in the description of this video and pin comment. So when you're watching this video, whether it's on your phone or computer, there'll be a link that says use Shopify for $1 per month for three months. 
you click that link and you can sign up for Shopify or you can go to the pinned comments and you can literally see the same link right there. You Shopify for $1. It's literally in the, it's literally in the description and pinned comment of this video. You click that link and then it's going to take you to Shopify. And then what you're going to do is you're literally just going to click enter your email address here. So I'm just going to enter an email that, you know, that I have. Okay. Ecom stride pre built at gmail.com start free trial and then what you're going to do is you're going to sign up for your shopify store and now i'm going to show you how to you know set up your shopify account and everything okay so now what you're going to do is let's just say i'm already selling this way i always i always just put i'm already selling online or in person and i'm going to do next and then i'm just going to do no i'm not using any platform click next and then i'm literally just going to say you know um, an online store click next and then it says what do you plan to sell first okay then you're just going to click drop shipping products okay it's fine shopify knows drop shipping is a thing it's not like 2018 where you had to hide that you're drop shipping no it's totally okay and then select you know your country wherever your store will be located i just like to obviously i'm in the united states so do united states if you can if not then do your country okay because most people are going to be buying you know from um from United States when you you know advertise and stuff using the free advertising method that I'm going to show you here shortly okay and then you're just gonna do sign up with email and just enter that same email boom you don't even need to enter it it's right here already and then you're just gonna create um, a password okay wait hold on hold on Okay, and then create Shopify account. It's creating your account, guys. Boom, you're now in your Shopify store. You're just gonna click settings and you wanna set these things up, you know, as I'm doing it. So the profile, the store name, you wanna click edit right here. And you wanna change that to Na Oasis, okay? Make sure the email here is obviously the email you created that matches the name of your store. Okay, so that being said, the e the um, store name is now Oasis. Click save so that way when people come to your store, they'll be able to see that in the you know in the SEO. Okay, make sure if your you know your store currency is dollars, then it's dollars. Leave everything as is right here. That's all you wanted to go ahead and change. Okay, and then when it comes to um, checkout, you want to go ahead. No, excuse me, pay payments. You want to make sure that you come here and activate Shopify payments, okay? Depending on where you are, what country you're in, you might not be able to use Shopify payments, but if you can use Shopify payments, definitely use Shopify payments, and if you can't, then do click see all other providers, okay? When you click that, it's going to show you other, you know, uh, payment processors that you can use to accept payments on your store, okay? You can use Stripe, you can use any of these, just make sure you you know activate it and enter all your details. Now here you will see where it says PayPal. I would not advise using PayPal because when it comes to you know drop shipping with PayPal, or even when it just comes to doing anything business related with PayPal, they'll hold your money, okay? And you, if you're a beginner, you broke as hell. <laughs> you don't you don't you don't want them to hold your money, right? So with that being said, do not go out there trying to use PayPal. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna come here to um, checkouts. And then you just want to do email only. I don't like to do the phone number thing. Uh, there are a lot of people that do that for you know remarketing later, but I just I just stick to emails, okay? I don't like to be that annoying person sending you know phone text messages and stuff to people, okay? Now I will unselect that as well because I'm drop shipping and you probably don't know how to do any of that and you don't need to know how to do any of that because it's not necessary. And then you want to do um, require first and last name, company name. You want to do optional. Or you want to do don't include it's recommended but you can do optional just leave it as i always do optional address line two optional okay shipping address phone number don't include leave it as is okay pre-select this right here so that way they're pre-selected to receive an email from you if you want to remarket them later okay and then also you know what i like to do this nowadays show tipping at you know checkout boom that's it
leave it as is do not check this leave everything as is okay okay and then you just literally leave everything as is you're not going to change anything here and you're going to click save okay boom that's that now when it comes to shipping and delivery you're just going to come here you're going to click where it says general shipping rates click that and then right here you're just going to click the three dots delete the zone click the three dots delete the zone as well okay and then you want to click this right here and then where it's selected remove rates so you want to do that and then you want to click add rates again and then click done and then create zone and then you want to do international and then you also want to do wherever you are and do ww stands for worldwide click done and then you want to do add rate and then you want to do obviously set up your own rates and you want to name this standard and leave it as zero dollars because you're going to be obviously promoting free shipping right so just leave it as is and then what you're gonna do is and people customers usually you know select this at least I'd say 10 to 20 percent of the time okay you want to go ahead and do insured shipping okay so that means it'll give the customer the idea of like, oh, if anything happens to my product, if I never receive my product, I can get my um, full refund back, right? So you want to come here and then just charge about 473, a random number because usually items are weighed and usually when you weigh something, it's like 2.1 pounds, right? So you never want to put like an even number. You just want to put something odd, okay? So 473 it's very inexpensive and trust me like i said 10 to 20 people 10 to 20 percent of people will select that insured shipping literally making your order value increase okay so once you do that you're just going to go ahead and click save and then the next thing is you want to click domains right now this is it you don't need a domain if you want to stick with that whole zero dollars you know thing right but if you want to buy a domain that's why i said it can cost you you know zero dollars but at the same time it is one of the businesses that you can start with less than fifty dollars a domain is not expensive at all okay so with that being said if you want to buy a domain you can click you know buy new domain and type in your domain whatever it is that you found right you can do that it's literally how much is it going to cost like 10 bucks or something something like that 15 15 bucks let's just write this name right here and as you can see it's gonna cost you okay that is too expensive let's not do that so it's gonna so it's gonna cost you fifteen dollars literally fifteen dollars per year to own this domain but you don't have to do that as well because you can just have not oasis dot my shopify dot store the um, dot com the reason why I don't say you need a domain is because let's let's face it it's 2023, everyone and their mom has heard of Shopify. So when they see the myshopify.com, it's not a bad thing like it was in 2018 where you had to hide your Shopify store or anything. Everyone knows about Shopify. So it's not a bad thing if you just want to look more professional and more put together than buy the .com domain. If you're too broke and too cheap, Go sell some, you know what I'm saying, booty pics, feet pics, whatever you got to do to get $15. It's not that hard. But if you don't want to do that either, then just, yeah, don't buy a domain, okay? Now, after that, you're going to come here to policies, okay? And for this, you just want to go ahead and all you want to do is create from template. Boom, boom, boom. Create from template. You're a beginner. You don't need to do anything else. Just create it from template so that way you have it, okay? And then for the shipping policy, just just write something like this, okay? N not even something like this. Just literally write this right here, okay? All orders are processed within three to five business days after processing allow another seven business days for your order to ship boom that's it now the reason why you can actually live with these you know shipping times is because when i show you how to fulfill your orders you can literally get shipping as fast as the same day next day you can get shipping in within a week 
So you want to stick around for that because if your customers are not receiving their products fast enough these days, that will ruin your Shopify dropshipping business. I'm not even joking. People want to receive their products now. Me personally, when I order, I want to see it in my house within five minutes. I'm not even, I'm not joking. That's, that's how impatient we are getting. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have that fast shipping times. So stick around for that so I can show you how to do that, okay? And then just create this one template as well. You know what I'm saying? Right, just, you can remove this right here unless you have that in your country based off that. And then you can also write, you know, your phone number, your email will be right here, but you can remove this and remove, oh, remove that as well. And then once you do that, you click save. And then once you've done all these settings, okay, once you've done all these settings, what you can then do is exit out of there. And then you want to come down here and you want to click online store, click navigation. And then you want to go ahead and create the footer. Okay. The footer will be something like this right here. Okay. Make sure you follow in all these steps. The footer will be like this right here. The home contact us, stuff like that. If you don't know what that is. Okay. So what you're then going to do is, as you can see right here, it says main menu. You're going to click that and then you're just going to name it like, instead of catalog, do like shop now. All right. And then leave it as all products. Okay. And then for the contact us, that's already all set for you. Shopify makes everything so easy. That's why I recommend using it. Click save menu. And then you want to go back and then you want to do footer menu and then you want to add menu. Okay. You're going to come here, click policies, and then you're just going to add all these things. Okay. So you're going to start from the terms of service, click add, come here, do the other one shipping policy. That's always one that they want to see. And then scroll up refund policy. That's something that they want to see as well. And then privacy policy, that's something that, you know, they don't really care about. No one's ever clicking that. And then contact information, click that and click save. Okay. And then we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and show you how to put that on your actual website. Now, for some of you guys that want to get more creative with your, you know, policies, definitely go to your policies and then edit whatever you want to edit. If you want no refund policy, if you're selling, you know, underwear, definitely ain't no refund policy. So definitely change it according to your product. Okay. And then with these little things, like I said, you're a beginner, but if you want to go in detail, cause I said, like I said, no one's really going to read all these things. You can come here and insert your, you know, address, or you can just remove what I do is I would rather remove that because you don't want them to see your address. So just come here, read whatever you need to read and then go based off that. And then this right here, just remove that if you want to. You're, you're a beginner. You don't need to because you don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, so remove all these yellow things that you see. And then for, you know, the terms of service, you don't want your address to be there, which it will be when you enter all that information when you're, you know, creating your store, right? And you will remove that as well so no one can see your address and stuff like that. So if you want to get more in detail with all that stuff, you totally can. And, you know, it's just going to show you what people can see. But like I said, um, people are not really going to see your information unless you enter your, you know, Shopify might want you to enter your phone number so you can add that if you want. And then your business address when you're trying to get paid and stuff, you will probably need your legal business name and your address. So make sure you enter that. Just remove it from your policies. OK, so once that's done, now the next step will be to build your store, design your store. So when people go on your website, they can, you know, what I'm saying buy shit. <laughs> you dig? So what you're going to do is go to online store. And then you're just simply going to, I like using the Dawn theme, to be honest. Okay. The Dawn theme, it's already there. It's clean. It's simple. And trust me as a beginner, this is exactly all you need. You don't need anything crazy at all. I promise you that. Okay. So let's go to theme settings. And then for the logo, you don't need a logo because this is this is all you need. It's clean enough. Um, some people might get a logo. As you can see right here, their logo is a text with a little pink thing under. You don't need no damn logo. You don't need no text. You don't need no nothing. Okay. So I would just literally leave it as is. Okay. Without changing anything. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to exit this and I'm going to go ahead and, you know, pick a plan so I can obviously design the store. So you want to go ahead and just pick a plan. Like I said, it's a dollar, right? Select the basic plan 
and then you're gonna enter your information and stuff like that. I'm definitely not gonna do that because um, first of all, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna act like I've done that. We're gonna act like you've picked the basic plan. Now, we're gonna go back to themes because you need to do that. And then we're simply going to customize it, okay? So we're just gonna come here to sections and then we get, we're literally gonna start designing the store, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a section of an image banner. I like to do that. And then we're gonna bring the image banner up here to the top. Um, the email, we're gonna remove this right here. So delete all that, we don't want anything. Password header, um, that's just literally there because right now you literally don't, I don't have my, um, I don't have a plan yet and stuff like that, but that's irrelevant. You can leave that up there. Um, so we're gonna do the image banner and then we're gonna do like a little slideshow underneath and then we're gonna add a section again and then we're going to do um, image with a text, okay? So this is literally the layout of usually my stores, right? This is usually the layout I use. The same layout that generated me over $3 million this year alone in 2023, this calendar year. My layout ain't that, like you guys like to complicate things and think you need a million dollar store. No, you just need your website to be as clean, as simple as this. Look right here. I guarantee you if you do a little bit of research, you can find out this store is making millions of dollars. Nothing crazy, just good quality images and literally that's it. That's all you need, okay? So what you're gonna do is once you have once you have your sections, you're simply just gonna for image banner. Um, let's see, what do they have on the website? Now, obviously, when you're finding your products and everything, you want to make sure that you know you're getting high quality images, right? This is what they have right here. And when you're finding a winning product and you have a winning product, you want to search that winning product on Google and find stores that are selling your product. So that way you can, you know, use their store for inspiration. You don't want to copy anything verbatim, right? So for me, I like going on unsplash.com. Unsplash.com. Okay. This is where you're gonna find copyright free high quality images. Okay. And Obviously, if now Oasis is selling this, you know, menstrual cramp stuff, I want to build my store for women, right? And then let's say that doesn't work and I'm selling, you know, phone cases, then I want to make it more unisex. But my point is you can find any image right here, any image, okay? Let's see, menstrual, let's just type that in. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so we're going to find something that's, you know, horizontal. So that way, you know, it can fit on the slideshow. We don't want a vertical image because a vertical image will not fit. So let's say let's say this is your image. Let's just let's just say this is your image, right? I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it directly from Shopify because you can also come here and you know you can find images from directly on um directly on Shopify. So you can click that and then just type in woman, okay? But I like to find images outside of Shopify because, you know, everyone's using, you know, the images here. So let's see which one would be good. So let's say we choose this one. Once you do that, right here where it says image banner, we're going to remove that thing, you know? We don't need that there. And we're also going to remove this thing right here. We also don't need that there. <laughs> Why am I talking that accent? I don't know, but anyway, we only need one button, so we're going to remove that. So that way we have only one button. And we're going to say, be pain free today, okay? So the reason why I'm writing that is because, well, I'm selling a menstrual cramp product that's going to help them with their cramps. Therefore, they're going to be pain free, okay? And then I'll come here and do products. So obviously you want the buttons to work. Click all products so it links to your all products. And usually I will only sell one product. You know, I'll test one product at a time. So this is a one product store. So let's say I wanna use these this product as the slideshow image. I'm just gonna drag it to my Shopify and then drag it right here. And then that should go ahead and work. There you go. And then for the next slide, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. You know, whatever photo that I'm interested in using, I'm gonna grab it, take it to my Shopify, 
okay whenever that decides to go yeah and then drop it right there and then for the image slide stuff you can just instead of writing obviously image slide you can just write something like pain free okay and then you want to remove this brand story stuff so it's not like so they're not too many you know words on it and you don't want a button as well so when you remove that it's just gonna go away okay and then you're gonna do the same thing here pain free happy cramper <laughs> a happy cramper I mean come on now I got I got bars but obviously I'm not gonna write that right I'm just giving you an example of how to build a store so you're going to remove that remove the label as well and then boom you're gonna have that when the label is gone there you go the label is gone boom okay and then right here with the image um, image with a text what I like to do is I come here and literally do the same thing I just add an image of the product so let's say this is the product image okay so you want to make sure that you're obviously um, using can I drag this one yes okay so you want to make sure that the store that you're using as a reference it has good images that you can obviously use okay obviously this is a branded you know packaging so you're not gonna use the one that says dot dot disk or whatever how however else you pronounce that name right you're not gonna use that you're just gonna act like you know use your imagination here okay so basically act like this is not red because obviously we want the website to be pink right everything that we're doing is pink so far so let's act like this is not red and it's pink use your imagination because when I change the colors and everything it'll make sense right so then for the image with a text what I like to do is I just like to write something from the description of the product so let's say this is your description right here as you can see they already have um, they already have it all done for you so all you have to do is just come here and do click full details and then you literally just see the description and then you just take something from there okay like this one starts with say goodbye blah blah you want to copy it and then right here you just want to write you know on the body click that remove that and then you want to go ahead and paste that and then just write no more cram bin boom be cram less now like you want to be relatable and funny as you can see up here I'm writing be pain free today like those are, that's banter people buy based off like emotion and striking something and being you know different than everyone else be crampless now instead of saying shop now and being like boring like everybody else and then when you write that obviously products and then do all products so the button is clickable and then you click save okay now literally that's that's pretty much it how you structure your home page and when they click this it'll take them to all products and when they click the product it'll take them to your description okay which I'm going to show you how to you know add a product listing and stuff like that you know and all that stuff and I'll show you how to you know add reviews and everything too okay so after that you're gonna click the theme settings right and you're gonna come to colors okay make sure it's open click add you know scheme and then usually when you're you know changing the colors which is pretty much what you want to do is you want to make sure whatever you're selling and if it's in a if it's in a woman niche for example I'm going to make the color of this button pink if I'm selling you know things for outdoors I'll probably make it green if I'm selling things for men I'll probably make it blue so for this example since we're selling things for women and you know pink and women they go together you know we're just gonna change the button this color right here from black as you can see it says solid button background we're gonna change that to you know pink and then the text we're going to change leave it as black okay so solid button label we're going to leave it as white so you know when it's pink right here I don't know it's not changing right now but this is usually going to change to pink and then you know the the, the white will still be the color of the text on the button okay so once you do that all the buttons on the website will be pink and then you know the um the text on the website like on the white background will be black and everything so you don't need to change much at all like it's literally that simple as you can see here they don't they didn't even change the color of the button right here it's black so with that being said you don't need to do much at all uh, a simple website like this 
is all you need okay so with that being said you can now come here and go right here to typography and you can easily change this you know font from what it is to let's say you want your store to look like this okay as you can see it changed it changed the font right here right and it gives it a different character because as you can see on their website they're not using a basic font they're using something that's bold and legible so you want to come here and let's say you select you know that i wouldn't select this by the way because i mean it's kind of hard to read so maybe we should load more <laughs> and actually select something that's you know pretty you know simple to read and stuff so that one it's it's not you know it's not like the best in my opinion but it's better than you know a basic ass website where it's just the Arial font or like Roboto. Everyone knows Roboto. So at this point, you want to use something that's just slightly different. So you're selling something for women. Use something that's more feminine, right? So let's say so. Let's say you want to use this. Just select that, and that's it. You click select, and then that's for the you know body. So once you've changed the body, you can come here and have a completely different you know completely different font for the heading. I can scale it up and make it even bigger if I want to. You can do so many things with, you know, with, with Shopify, it's amazing. So now this is pretty much what your website will look like on mobile. It looks pretty clean as long as you have high quality images, I mean, look at that. It looks pretty clean. That's all you need on your homepage, okay? And as you can see right here, obviously, like I said, imagine this is a pink, you know, imagine this is pink, okay? Or matter of fact, let me just change it because the red will probably throw some of you guys, you guys off. So let's just change it to, you know, some woman, just a, red, a woman that's not wearing any colors or has any colors. So, okay, let's say that's it. Pain-free today, be pain-free today. Oh, this right here no more be crampless now they click that they go to your description and your description is going to look something you know like this obviously is what i recommend you want to make sure you have images and you want to make sure the images you know make sense and you want to make sure you also have gifs okay gifs like this where it's interactive and you know boom reviews you want to make sure you have reviews and as you can see when you scroll up it says they have over you know 400 reviews the more reviews you have the better now how do you add reviews you're simply going to go here let's say your store is now completely done you know you've designed it to your best ability this is all you need all you need are these sections right here and then you just need high quality images and stuff right so once you do that you click save and then you can click publish okay okay so now you want to go ahead and add apps so you can click right here where it says add apps and then you want to make sure that you go ahead and click shopify app store and then this is gonna take you to where you can download looks reviews. Review, damn, I can't spell right now. So looks review right there. It's a popular app. I've been using it since I was literally born. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Over 15,000 reviews, 4.9 stars. Don't play yourself. You're just gonna click that, click, click install. And then once you click install, all you're going to do is go to the app and click the settings. So let me click install and see if I can do that without having to put in my card info. Okay, so boom right there, install app. And then once you install the app, you're simply just going to follow the prompt. It's not that hard. And then you're going to click where it says, you know, install reviews or something. And then you're just gonna drag this right here. There'll be a bookmark where you can drag, you know, the looks right here. And once you drag that, now you have this bookmark, right? And the bookmark, what it does is, you can simply go on AliExpress to find reviews. So let's say you're doing the, the menstrual hidden pad oh yeah so let's say you're doing the menstrual hidden pad right you're gonna click that and this is simply how you import reviews okay you're just gonna go to one that has a lot of you know units sold click that right there and then you know once you have your bookmark you're just gonna click that and then obviously it'll log you into you know your shopify store and everything right so obviously i don't have looks on the store technically so definitely it's not going to log in but once you're logged in 
you will literally just click next, go through the reviews, make sure you only add reviews with photos and then also read the review so it's in good grammar and you know, it's not saying something bad before you add the reviews, okay? That's simply how you add reviews to your Shopify store. And then you can literally have all these reviews. You think all these reviews are real? They're not. They all came from AliExpress. Literally, I can tell you that right now. They either just save the photos to write, you know, their own fonts and stuff, write their own text, but it's literally all from AliExpress. I can almost guarantee you that by seeing that, okay? So once you've done that, once you've built your Shopify store, the next step will now be to advertise, okay? This is the part that, you know, yeah, it's, it's very important, okay? So what you're gonna do is, you're going to go to, there'll be a link in the description of this video and pinned comment as well, and that link will easily say, advertise your products without paid ads, okay? As you can see, it's gonna say that in the description and pinned comment of this video. You're going to then click that link and it's going to show you exactly what I want you to do to advertise your product for free, okay? So once you do that, literally, there's a video on the website that's I'm literally going to show you exactly what you can do to advertise it for free, okay? Yeah, that video is going to play and all that stuff. And then once you're done with that, this is how you fulfill your orders automatically. You're just going to go to Auto DS, okay? Remember Auto DS where we found the winning products? This same, this same app literally automates fulfilling. So when someone buys from you, you wanna make sure they receive the product on time. You wanna make sure you're using reliable suppliers. Auto DS will make your life easy because once you're getting hundreds of sales a day, 100 sales, guess what? Fulfilling orders manually becomes real a real job. You don't wanna do that. You're drop shipping because why? You want to literally have financial freedom and be able to work from anywhere in the world, okay? You don't wanna work a 12 hour job fulfilling orders and that's where AutoDS comes in. So what you're simply gonna do is you can add products from AutoDS. So let's say you add in that one single menstrual, you know, um, product, this one right here. You can easily add it from AliExpress or if you want to, you can literally come here when you add in from AliExpress, by the way, you want to make sure you're doing it from the United States so you're getting fast shipping. But if you even want better shipping, you can get your product shipped from Amazon, guys. As we all know, Jeff Bezos, he got that. He got that. You know what I'm saying? He got that preemie speeding shipping time. His shipping time is pre-cum. That's how fast, that's how fast he ships. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so with AutoDS, you can source from there. And not just there, you can source from Walmart, you can source from CJ, you can source from Etsy, you can source from everywhere, import it to your store, and you'll get that fast shipment to you. And you just click publish it to your store. Now, how do they ship it without you lifting a finger? You're just simply gonna go here to your top, load balance or add balance. Let's say you're doing about $500 in revenue every day. All you need to do is literally add $200 from that revenue, literally to your account, add it to your account, and then that's it. You don't need to touch anything else. You just let AutoDS literally automatically fulfill the orders for you and track everything for you. I mean, it's a no brainer. It can find you winning products that we found, and then you don't have to do anything once you start getting sales. Just let it do its thing and focus on making your store better, making building your brand, and yeah, getting someone to do your customer service for you, which you can find someone to do your emails for you on upwork.com. Okay, so once you automate the shipping process with AutoDS, once again, it's free for a full 30 days with you, when you use the link in the description and pinned comment of this video. The link will also be here. It'll say AutoDS like it says right here. And then you just click that link. Once you click this link, you can get it for 30 days completely free. This is an app that you, in my opinion, you definitely need. You know what I'm saying? So once you do all that and you, you uh, have the fulfillment process automated, you can then come here and find literally drop shipping customer. Literally, it's there. Literally. <laughs> like there's something for everything. And you can hire someone for dirt cheap to literally do your emails for you. As you can see, this guy, $5 an hour. Come on. 
all he needs to do is spend maybe one or two hours per day doing your emails. Once you start getting sales and you're making five hundred dollars per day in revenue, what's ten dollars gonna? What's ten dollars so you can literally sit down on that beach and not do anything? Literally, just run your ads, which is not even paid ads. So, like, you don't you you're gonna be living the dream if you do everything I'm saying in this video correctly. So this is a course that literally people literally would charge you thousands of dollars for, hundreds of dollars for, and it's right here on YouTube. I just gave it to you right now. So I don't know what else you need to hear besides get off YouTube right now and start doing everything I just showed you. Rewind this video, rewatch it, do what you need to do to get everything done. But that's it. I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully this year is your year. Peace. Get out of here.